What's up, my team addicts? It's Game Face Studios, and it's team athleticism, sort of. I saved up about 30k worth of VC, and I also saved up about 20k more. Where that other 20k went, you will find out next week on my team. Here's a hint. I took some of your suggestions as far as what players to get for team athleticism, and then I decided, you know what? I know everybody on my team likes the gameplay. I know you're going to get the gameplay, but I don't have any gameplay ready yet, so I figured... It's either don't put out a video or give you some pack openings, and that's exactly what I'm here to do. Here's what I did for those of you that don't know. This is my sort of strategy because I get asked about this a lot. I take out the coaches. I take out the players. I take out the playbooks. There's Keith Erickson. That's a random old Lakers player. And Scott Brooks. That's a pretty good pickup. But I take out the players, coaches, playbooks. I basically clear all my lineup, clear everything out. Just hit the remove from my team button, not, you know, get rid of them. But just remove them. Clear everything out, and in my mind, that makes the game think, oh, well, there's no players on there. Maybe I'll give them some good ones. And then I buy 30K worth of gold or 30K worth of purple. If I'm having bad luck with a certain pack, you know, type, like, a, you know, if I get, say, 10 gold packs and I open them and whatever, and I'm not getting anything, then maybe I'll hit a purple pack up every once in a while. But uh, that's my key. That's my goal. That's what I'm trying to do. And I've been hearing a lot of people say recently, man, I haven't been getting anything in packs. So I wanted to see if that was true. So far, it is. And the pack rotations do change up every once in a while. Uh, it's pretty obvious once you get into either saving a lot of VC and opening a lot of packs or purchasing VC, whichever one you do. I do a mixture of both. And, uh, you know, it's it's easy to do either one, honestly. So that's the way it goes. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed all the team athleticism videos on Game Face Studios. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of changes come up recently and had some new people added in. So I want to make sure that you guys check out everybody that's new. Got some new faces coming in, some new blood. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for that. I think it's going to be good. We've got a good team here. And I want to keep going with that and make sure that you guys enjoy all the videos. We're going to have Madden. We're going to have 2K. We're going to have some baseball. I'm going to put baseball up every once in a while. I still do. And uh, the immortal Greg Foster right there. Welcome. There's the AT&T Center, home of hopefully the world champion. I should say national champion. But to us, it's world champion San Antonio Spurs. At least the NBA champion. So, if you didn't hear, Chael Sonnen, the uh, UFC fighter that's kind of an idiot, in my opinion, called LeBron James a dork. Okay, maybe he can get away with that, but I don't know if I'd want to I want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with LeBron James. He's kind of a beast. But he's been a little less than beastly in the NBA Finals so far, thanks to Kawhi Leonard and the rest of the San Antonio Spurs defense. It's been pretty crazy for them. And by the time this video comes out, we'll know whether this series is even at two games apiece and LeBron and the rest of the Heat redeem themselves or whether the Spurs take a commanding 3-1 lead. Now, you can probably tell by the way that I talk. I am indeed a Spurs fan. I do like the Thunder as well. Some people consider that blasphemy, but hey, deal with it. I like good basketball. Uh, but that being said, I would love to see Tim Duncan go out on a high note, and uh, I do think that he will probably hang him up if he does win a championship this year, even though he's been tremendous. All-NBA first team at 37 years old is nothing to sniff at. Now, that being said, pack rotations, pack stuff, my team news, and a little bit about team athleticism. I felt that team athleticism was athletic, but not as athletic as it could be. I saw a couple of holes in my game. I went into that overtime game that you guys saw last week and won it, but I felt like, you know, if the games are this close in the sixth seed, I am going to get eaten alive when I get up into the higher seed. So I'm going to have to I'm going to have to load up a little bit. Originally when I did this, and started this team athleticism thing. I was going for a value team. I thought, okay, well, there's Matt Bullard there. I switched to a purple pack, and it works out. Uh, you get a guaranteed player and everything, but I think it's kind of good to reset it every once in a while. Now, as I was saying, I wanted to do a complete value team, but I quickly realized that uh, basically my team is the army, and you got to get your war chest filled up, get out there and uh, do some work. And I'm not saying you need to buy all your players or buy an entire team or anything like that, but you do need to save your VC up and as it stands, even with the new additions that I have, my my team salary is 600 VC a game. So if you do the math on that, then uh, that's the equivalent of six gold players, but I don't have six gold players. So you'll see, I'll run through my team and everything. I think you guys will be happy with the changes. I love those Wolves alternate uniforms. Looking good for Minnesota, finally. Hopefully they have everybody healthy this year for the full year. Kevin Love and Ricky Rubio and the rest of the boys are looking pretty good. Hopefully they can 
finally break through, turn things around. So I'm picking up some playbooks. I'm picking up some extra stuff that I will definitely be using. I know you guys love the Dallas Chaparral's jerseys and all that stuff, but uh, I was getting pretty limited. For a while there, I was rocking the Rockets jerseys. I like to switch things up and give you guys some good stuff. I did get those Military Night Raptors. Ooh, and the Bulls jerseys right there. Love the classic look to those Bulls Away jerseys. I'm glad that they didn't go for the super animated look that a lot of teams are. And uh, they've kept everything pretty classic since at least Jordan's days. Uh, the first year he was in the league, they had like this cursive Chicago deal. But they really moved away from that, stayed with it, and it was all good. So that's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Guess who you think is going to be the new additions, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of hints, and then we're going to be out. Uh, one of my new additions is a shooting guard, and one of my new additions is a point guard. The point guard will not be starting for my team, and the shooting guard will indeed be a new addition that you're going to see a lot. He's going to be flying, jumping, dunking over people, and he can even hit a few trays here and there. So that's a good addition. Check it out. Make sure if you want an extra hint, go to Bill's Pacers Association on Two Brothers Gaming.